Just two more. These will do. Oh, it's hard work. Oh, you have picked a lot, Vicky. Mm-hmm. Look, my basket is full, and they're all for you. Mm, you picked them all for me. Oh, thank you so much, Vicky. Oh, where's Moyachi? Where is he? Ah, there it is, Moyachi. I found Moyachi. My action, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, what bad manners you have! Oh, did you see that? He didn't even apologize. He's evidently lost something which is very precious to him. <sighs> oh dear, where can it be? It was around here a while ago. Oh. What are you looking for, Jure? Oh. Hey, I asked you what you're looking for, Jure. It's none of your business. Oh, too bad for you. If you'd ask for my assistance, I might find whatever it is. You help me? You can't even find that fat nose on your face. Go ahead, insult me. You can find it yourself. That's what I intend to do. Don't meddle in my affairs. I wouldn't meddle in your worthless affairs for anything. <laughs> This is stupid. I can't build a chicken house unless I have my hatchet. Ah! Oh! Uh -huh. How can that be? It looks like some kind of saw. But what good luck! This will work better than my hatchet. Huh? Oh, it came from a sawfish. You want me to give it back, huh? Be reasonable. It broke off and you can't stick it back on. It's your gift to me. Ah, don't be a bad loser. Many thanks. Goodbye. Oh, what luck. I've always wanted a saw of my own. Hey, Jory, did you find what you were looking for? I'm the luckiest person in the world. I guess I was just born lucky. Yippee, yippee. Oh, I don't understand. Huh? What's the matter, Vicky? Aren't you hungry? Hey, Dad, you know about that sawfish that Jury found earlier today? Yes, it reminds me of that miserable lord down south that captured us. You were with us. He threw us into prison and we were about to be crushed to death. Then, thanks to that sawfish you found, we were able to make good our escape. It was the sawfish that saved our lives on that adventure. I remember it well. I wonder if that sawfish can survive in the sea without his saw. I don't suppose so. He must be a funny sight without his saw, poor thing. Such an unusual fish must be proud of his unique saw. He must value it highly, don't you think so? Yes, everyone is proud of something that makes them different from all the others. I'm sure of that. And if we lose that thing, we're very sad.
What a disaster. Oh, it's horrible. The most awful thing has happened. Come quickly. Oh, 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 could it be Sven who did this then? It would take more than one night to sink a boat, even an old top. Someone must have put a curse on it. <laughs> Our boat is so. Cry him, won't help you, big baby. Anyway, it was an old model. Old or not, what will we do without it? That's right. Who's ever heard of a Viking without a ship? Duh. We must do something. Let's go forward. Forward? Forward to where? You know very well, Chief. We'll have to capture another boat. Ah, oh, that's nonsense. How can we capture a boat without a boat? Ah. Oh, this is not a time for questions, Chief. It's a time for action, I think. You're a booby. If that's the best you can come up with, shut up. What about you? I suppose you have a better idea. <clears throat> it might surprise you, but it just happens that I do. The next time Sven attacks, we'll capture his beautiful boat and his 48 ore model, the latest thing. And how soon do you expect Sven's attack? Oh, well, I can't say exactly, but... What an idiot! Oh. Are there any more great ideas? I have one! We can send Sven an invitation, Chief! An invitation? Yes, we can find some excuse. We can tell him you want to share our treasures with him. Or well, that it's your birthday. We can say we have a rich widow who's fallen in love with him. Oh, no, 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 and again, no. The Vikings are not able to think of an idea that does not call for thievery. That is because they have plundered and pillaged for so long that it has become a way of life for them. But Vicky is not bound by the past. Ah, I'm sure I have a solution. What? Tell us what it is. We will build another boat. That's what we'll do. We'll build a boat? Us? We'll do it ourselves. Build a boat, you say? We Vikings seize our boats, we don't build them. What a nonsensical idea. But Jury told me that many years ago his father built our ship. Eh, uh, mm, yes. My father was the best carpenter in all the land. Ask anyone. You've inherited his gift. You built yourself a beautiful stable. Oh, that was nothing. It was simple. I'm sure that Jury would be able to build a beautiful boat if we all join in to help him. A remarkable idea. We can always try. Fantastic! I'll build the framework first. None of you know how to do that. And I will build the mast. And I will build an enormous pantry. <laughs> I'll make the sails. Perfect. Let's go to work, companions. Ah! Ah! There, it's finished. Oh. Jury? Yes? I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, very well. I can do that. That's a handsome mast. And the sails are beautiful. Everybody watch carefully. I've invented a new system to raise the sails. How oh, ingenious. Extraordinary. It's well built, too. <laughs> oh! I can't say it would win a prize, but it's well done. I never realized the jury was so clever. He built the ship without a sleep. We're ready to put everything in place. Onward to the boat. Here are the oars that I made. I'll put my larder on the new ship. We'll it's erect the mast, clear the way. Oh. Oh. That's it, comrades. Our work is finished. It's still missing something. Eh? You've made a fine crow's nest. Congratulations. Yes, we can see a great distance from way up there. Even I could get way up there. <laughs> we'll launch the boat. Harvard's men have built a wonderful ship. They have good reason to be proud. 
but I think they may have installed too much heavy equipment. Ah. Huh? Oh. oh, the boat is sinking, my goodness. The boat's sinking? It's sinking fast. What can the reason be? Maybe we've loaded it with too many heavy things. Yes, that's certainly possible. Unload all this stuff right away. Hurry up! It's useless. The boat is still sinking. Oh. Where can the trouble be? Listen, Snort and Jury, go examine the hull. Oh, oh, this is terrible. The hold is full of water. The hull is full of leaks. Oh, the greatest carpenter has turned out to be a great good for nothing. What's that you say? Would you repeat that once more? You're a good for nothing. Should I say it again? You like to live dangerously, don't you, shrimp? I'm only speaking the truth. Do you call this a sound ship? It should be. I work conscientiously, and I won't stand for any of your insinuations. All I understand is that you're asking for a punch in the nose. If you're looking for a fight, I'm your man. Well, all I see is a good for nothing. That does it! Uh, yeah! You big bag of winged little pipsqueak. <laughs> <laughs> So, it was the sawfish who sunk our boat? Yes, and not only that, they also sunk our old ship, you know. They sunk our boat and now they gloat? Yes, that's because Jury stole the saw of one of them. They wanted revenge. That's why they sunk our boat. Oh, that's terrible. What can we do? Ah. Only one thing. We must give the saw back to the fish who lost it. Huh? Oh. Give him back the saw? No, no we, we refuse, refuse to give it back. If you don't, we will never be able to make peace with the sawfish. You make them sound like people. They're only stupid fish. Yes, they'll pay for what they've done. We must have our revenge on them. I think Jury and Snore are quite right. No, Dad, if we try to get back at them... The They're only fish. fish. We'll hunt down every single one of them. Yes, he's exactly right. Exactly! Mm-hmm. I agree, comrades. We'll catch those sawfish. Hooray! Hooray! Now we'll get them! Hooray! I wish they wouldn't do that. I don't think it's a bright idea. Where have you gone, fish? I've caught one. Well now, fish, I've got you. I believe we've got some. Paul! Huh? Huh? The net is heavy with fish! Huh? Oh! oh. This time I'll get you. This is the biggest defeat in all Viking history. What a disgrace. Dad? What do you want, Vicky? 
this situation remains unchanged, they'll sink any boat we build. Mm. We can't have that happen. Please, Dad, tell Jury he must return the saw to the fish. Oh, yes, he should return that saw. It doesn't belong to him. Huh? This is all your fault. I hold responsible for uh, you. What? You dare to put the blame on me? If you hadn't been so greedy, if you hadn't swiped that saw, nothing would have happened. No, it's all the fault of the person with the hatchet from me. Uh, if you think it was me, say so right then now. it was you? That's enough, you two. Uh, you must return the saw to its rightful owner. Understand, Jury? I am the rightful owner. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. You dare to disobey my orders? As chief, you must apologize when he returns the saw. Me? Apologize? My dignity as chief would never stand for that. Jury can do it. He should apologize because it's all his fault. All right, I'll do it, but you can't know how unhappy it makes me. How will we be able to find the fish who lost the saw, I wonder? Ah, uh, I'll take care of that. And I'll help you. Huh? Hey, Vicky, you don't mind if I come along with you? You'll have to swim to go and find him. That's right, and the fish are so angry they might attack you in the water and eat you. Don't worry, I'll ask my friends the seals to go with me. With them along, I take no risk, you know that. One thing worries me, how can I stick the saw back on the fish? Hmm, yes, that's a big problem. Hey there, Jury, since this is all your fault, can you figure huh? out a way to repair the fish? Uh -oh. oh, yes, I know it's all my fault. Don't rub it in. We won't let up on you. You have to take your medicine like a man. Hmm, I'll give you some medicine. Oh, oh, ah! oh, 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 oh. How stupid to sit on the freshly cut stuff. My pants! Tis the resin which stuck on your pants, what bad luck. Hmm. That's it. I think I've got it. I found the solution. I know what to do. It's a very pleasant way to travel, isn't it, Tiki? I'm very lucky to have such good friends as Dum Dum and Dee Dee. Are you sure that this resin sticks hard enough? Yes, I'm sure it will work. When it dries, it sticks on forever. Ah, what's happening? Quiet. I'm afraid, terribly afraid. You mustn't be, Tiki. Ah. I have something very important to tell you, Mr. Sawfish. Yes, we've come to give this back to you. That's right, you can believe me, honest. Ah, you're here at last. I will repair your saw so it's good as new. Oh, what a shame, you must have missed it. There, it's almost done. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow to remove the bandage. Back to your daddy. I'm happy they understood that we came as friends. Me too. Oh, 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 oh. It will be mended, I'm sure. <laughs> it works! Did you see that? <laughs> I'm sorry it ever happened, Mr. Sawfish. But Jury didn't really mean to harm you, did you, Jury? Huh? Jury is a carpenter, and you must understand how useful a saw can be for him in his work. <laughs> yes, it's as Vicky told you. Uh, I'm sorry to have caused you all this trouble, and I beg your pardon. Can you ever forgive me? The sawfish seemed to have understood why Jury took the saw. 
peace has returned to Flak and a new ship will soon be ready to launch. It will be a beautiful ship. Yes, thanks to the seals. And the fish too, since they sunk the old one and we now have a new one. That's true. <laughs> that oar. Oh, oh, it's you, Mr. Sawfish, and never mind, I'll make a new one. <laughs> That's nothing compared to the two boats they've already sent to the bottom of the sea. Right, Chief. I'll never cross a sawfish again. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed today's fishy story. <laughs>